Hello everyone and welcome back to Conquest Conundrums, the series where I show you guys how to use different aspects of the Conquest Reforged mod. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the inventory as well as basic setup. So to begin with I'm going to show you guys controls and this is basically something you want to set up at the very start once you've installed the mod as it will greatly help your process when building. So if you navigate to the controls section of the settings menu and scroll down you'll find a sub tab called Conquest Reforged. Here you can set uh, keybinds basically that are related to the Conquest Reforged mod. So you have block, to block toggle, palette GUI and search. The main two we want to focus on today are block toggle and palette GUI. Here you can see I've set my block toggle to an easy button so this is on button 5 which is kind of a side button on my mouse and I have palette GUI which is set to the F key. You can set these to whatever you want. Basically, block toggle allows you to toggle through different states of a block. So for example, for layers, it allows you to toggle different layers and auto place them at that level. You can change that level by using this button. Palette UI basically allows you to bring up all corresponding block variants of one type of block. So I'll begin to show you guys this now. So if I navigate to the menu and go to the first tab here, I can find large granite brick. If I bring this out and then bring up the GUI palette, Using the F key, I now bring up loads of different variants of the block. Now, what's cool about this is I can then bring in the uh, toggle button, and using that, I can toggle different variants of the slab. So as you can see, there are seven different variants. So its base variant is at layers one. If I press it once, it will go to layers two, again, layers three, again, layers four, five, six, seven, eight, then that's basically eight is your full block. So by using these toggle buttons, you can essentially toggle different parts of the block. In order to use the menu, as I briefly showed there, you have four pages full of different tabs. It can be very overwhelming at first. Um, I think everyone, at, when they first install the mod and want to build, find it very overwhelming at the sheer number of different blocks there are. My advice, would be to kind of identify a few blocks that you like the look of, start building with them, and then you can kind of go from there in terms of expanding your palettes. So for example, you have different tabs here. So you have cobble and brick, advanced masonry, columns, mosaics, tiles, and floors, plaster stucco and paint, half timbered walls, roofing, planks and beams, advanced carpentry. Now most of these are very, um, you know, there's a vast array of different types of blocks here. You've got steps, etc. Um, you also have different furniture items and stuff. They're quite cool, they're brilliant for detailing. On your final tab, which is something you'll find very useful, is the utility tab. Now this is where you find things like your debug stick, your barrier blocks, your green screen blocks, which I've retextured using an overlay to a white screen there. Um, as well as that, you also have your search bar, of course. So say if I wanted to search for white plaster, I can search that and then every variant of white plaster that is in the mod will show up here. So yeah, you can basically find everything from this menu. Alternatively, you can install a mod such as um, Just Enough Items, which I have here, which allows you to basically see every single block and also search from here as well. But quite honestly, I personally, I don't really rely on this much. I tend to use the inventory menu. Um, and over time I've become more familiar with where blocks are and what to use. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Conquest Conundrums and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.